Hey everyone! In this video, we'll be flipping through Color It's most delectable book yet with your Color It guides, Lucy and May. Delightful desserts and sweet treats by Jackie Lupareja and Patrick Bukoy. So, as with all of our Color It coloring books, Delightful Desserts and Sweet Treats has all the standard book features that you have come to know and love, including hardback front and back covers, top spiral binding, artist quality pages, a blotter page, and 50 original hand-drawn designs. Some of you may not be familiar with Color It, but with any Color It coloring book, you get a blotter page that you can tear out and use to protect your drawings. There is also a special QR code here that you can scan to get access to freebies and discounts. Let's flip through the coloring pages, shall we? Yes, let's get lost in Candyland. So, as you can see the first page, I don't know if you guys, you guys that are following our Facebook and Instagram pages, you may have noticed that one of the artists for this book, Jackie, actually colored in this page for her Whip Wednesday, as you can see right here. Isn't she so good? Isn't she just amazing? She colored in the page so fabulously. This page is a gingerbread house. Well, it's the holiday season, so just in time. Just in time. Ooh, I feel like a lot of our um, followers will like this page. It's a mandala. A lollipop mandala. This one is a sorbetes, is what they say in other countries. Sorbet, if you will. Look at that! These are actually wonderful gingerbread cookies, and I think this is a box for gifting. You can't get enough of cakes. I just can't get enough. Ooh, this one's landscape. It's pretty refreshing after all the portraits. Oh my gosh, this is one of my favorite pages as we, you know, flip through the book beforehand. I really love, I think it's like a naked cake. Lollipops. Who doesn't love lollipops? Oh, another landscape page. You can see this guy is buying from the colored ice cream truck. Truck. Oh, another mandala page. This time it's ice cream and cupcakes. It looks like a snowflake all in all, right? Yep. Oh my gosh, donuts. I love donuts. They're so bad for you, but they're so good for your soul. Ooh, cupcakes. I just like everything. So this book is very not healthy for me. <laughs> so this is an array of, again, gingerbread cookies. And I think there are some sugar cookies here too. So you can just really free your creativity here. Oh, it's a birthday. Happy, Happy birthday, May. Happy birthday to you, to Thank me. You. Oh, <laughs> I'm just so not in sync today. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, this is honestly one of my favorite pages of this whole book. It's a candy corner. Beautiful. I feel like this is quite intermediate for more... For advanced colorists. Yeah, that's right. A fruit parfait. So I think this is one of the healthy snacks. Yay! Yes! Yay! I'll eat that. <gasps> oh my gosh, a heart-shaped macaron. Macaron. Macaron? Macaron. More wedding goodies. White wine or red wine. Whatever kind of wine. Oh, a Halloween theme page. I want to say these are angel cookies. They're more chocolate chip. I mean, I won't say me. no to that. I love chocolate chip. Ooh, I probably wouldn't order this for myself, but doesn't it look so good? Ooh, mandala. I think this might be my favorite mandala of the three that we've seen so far. Raspberry. Kiwi. Desserts by the beach. Sweets in summer. More cupcakes. I love cupcakes. These are great tarts. They look like such a healthy snack. If it looks kind of healthy, I probably haven't had it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christmas Village. I want to live in this one. These villages look absolutely beautiful. Delightful to color. This kind of reminds me of blissful scenes, too. So this is a bunt cake. Another Christmas theme page. This time with assorted cookies, pretzels, sugar canes. The gingerbread man from Shrek. More lollipops. I actually don't remember the last time I had a lollipop. Ooh! It's Candyland! It's Candyland! With a candy man. I want to say this is a river... Of chocolate. Of chocolate milk. The sky is made of cotton candy. Oh my gosh. Isn't this our back cover page, May? Yes, this that's the back cover page. And a really pretty page to color in. 
Christmas stockings. Merry, merry. There's a lot of Christmas themed pages here because why not? Wow, a lemon cake. So refreshing. I actually really love lemon cakes. I really love lemon. Oh my god, don't you think this kind of looks like me? Sure. Yeah, sure. I feel like I have a picture like that. Her forehead's kind of big. My forehead's kind of <laughs> big. <laughs> this is another Christmas cake with gifts on the side. I feel like these gifts could be edible. Another beachy scene. This one looks like my mom's kitchen. She has all the mitts and everything. Another mandala. What a candy explosion. Oh, trick or treat. Who is it? It's trick or treat. Give me something good to eat. Very, very fresh popsicles. I think this may be my favorite page of all the pages. I feel like I found the one that I'll be coloring in later. Another Christmas theme page. <laughs> really pretty sugar cookies. This looks like a beautiful morning outside a lodge. More cupcakes! I gotta say that we kind of asked Patrick to color this page in. Fruit popsicles. Fruit popsicles. Cotton candy. I mean, who doesn't love cotton candy or who doesn't remember eating cotton candy? This beautiful array of cupcakes. On a very elegant stand. And that was it! We've asked one of Color It's in-house artists, Patrick, to color in a page out of this book. And he's coloring in assorted Christmas cupcakes. Okay, um, we have to admit, we had these cupcakes on the left made inspired by this page. Hmm, so it's like life imitating art. Or was it the other way around? I think it works both ways, but for this example, it might be life imitating art. Imitating life. Imitating me? <laughs> How meta. So you'll notice in the book there are a lot of festive treats. There's even a couple of mandala pages in there. Right. The mandala pages are very, very fun. Actually, May, didn't you say that you baked? Right. Yes, I do bake. So uh, of all the photos that we saw so far, which one would you say is the most difficult? It really depends on the recipe and the type of thing that you want to achieve visually. So some of the things there um, on the pages, like the naked cake, is pretty easy to do. Interesting. I don't bake, but I will always be here for you if you needed a taste You're, tester. Yeah, you will be my taste tester. You know, you just need some company in the kitchen. Just make sure that you come over during cheat days. I don't want to ruin any diet or... Every day is a cheat day. <laughs> How often do you eat desserts? How often do I eat desserts? Let me throw it back to you. How often do you not eat desserts? <laughs> well, as a baker, sweets are always present at home. And so it's, it's quite hard to avoid eating sweets. So I would say on a daily basis but moderately. Like I said, everything in moderation. That said, look at that. Patrick's already made so much progress with this page. Honestly, like I said back in our goddesses video, I wish I could claim Patrick's hands as my own. Stop taking credit, Lucy. I'm saying I would, but I haven't yet. <laughs> and the point is, isn't it such a good page? Look at how he colored it. And now it's my turn. I'm about to color in this psychedelic cupcake coloring page. And I hope you all enjoy this process with me. Please take note, I am not an intermediate colorist. I'm kind of an amateur myself. I just recently got back into coloring. So all of you newbies, get on this. This cupcake train. So Lucy, how do you choose your colors? I feel like this is the perfect image to try to make a rainbow. So I'm gonna try and make a rainbow. As you can probably tell from my very bright, bubbly, amazingly loud personality, I like loud colors. So I wanna try to use every color that we have available in this Color It alcohol marker set. I have a question for you. When do you like eating desserts? Like what is the best time to eat desserts? As a lady born with all my lady parts and emotions and hormones, especially during that period of the month, that period <laughs> is my <laughs> favorite period. <laughs> What's your favorite time? No, you're always baking. Gosh. I know. Yeah, I'm always baking. So I always have desserts at home. But there's a certain novelty when somebody else bakes for you. And as a baker, like I really appreciate it when somebody else gives me dessert or even a meal um 
but desserts are most preferred because I like sweets. And also, I love eating desserts when I'm stressed because stressed is desserts spelled backwards. So, oh my god, that makes so much sense. I'm right. always desserts, so I always <laughs> eat a lot of stress. <laughs> yes. Especially this year. I mean, like, this year has been so challenging. And I always found myself craving for sweets just to, you know, give me that serotonin boost. But, you know, you always just got to find alternatives to stress eating. And that is coloring, I think. Actually, I'm pretty proud of myself for finding coloring to be one of the more stress relieving activities that I indulge in. I like to sleep. <laughs> I mean, don't we all? <laughs> but not not immediately after you've eaten sweets, please. Nah, I'll no. do that. <laughs> oh. I'll sleep right after I swallow. <laughs> Lord Almighty. <laughs> I'm sure we're not the only ones who love sweets. And this is the perfect book for those who love to get lost in Candyland. We want to throw the question to you now. Let us know what you think about delightful desserts and sweet treats. If you've got a favorite treat, let us know in the comment section below. We're so excited to see your take on these lovely pages. If you've completed a masterpiece, don't hesitate to send it to us at support at colorit.com. We'd like to wish everyone a wonderful holiday season and a special thanks to everyone part of the Facebook coloring group, Colorit Coloring Books. If you haven't yet, go ahead and join the group and be part of the coloring community. That said, this has been Lucy and May and may you lose all your inhibitions and free your creativity until next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.